guys, it's Brogues here with a new series on Far Cry 5. In this series I'll be delving into the arcade editor and telling you all the tips and tricks I've learned from my experiences making the first two levels from Metal Gear Solid in Far Cry 5's editor. Now, in this series, I'm going to be taking you through the steps you need to do to build yourself a competent map. In this case, we're just going to do a simple team deathmatch map. Now, we're going to use the empty map terrain because it makes it far easier to line everything up and build it clear in the first place. We can go in at a later date, add textures, add terrain, and then really bring the map to life. Now, as you can see, we've got an empty map here with the checkerboard layout. Makes it really easy to line stuff up, get every, everything set up nice and crisp. Now you see, we've got our uh, four items, we've got a small wall, we've got a guard tower, and we've got a large wall. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replicate items and rotate them. So first, we're going to build one of the corner outposts here. We'll get it lined up perfectly. Now we're going to start branching off this. You want to zoom in close. Now, you want to have a slight bit of overlap. What that overlap helps is it helps line it up and it helps get everything perfectly fit. Now, you want to click on it and press right, and that's going to duplicate that block. And then you can just start building out, duplicating that block. Now, duplication means is that any further blocks you spawn will face the exact same direction, which makes it really easy to line things up. Also, by duplicating the block, it means that you don't have to worry about the block that you spawn actually appearing on top of the block that you've already got. So it makes it a lot easier to build single-tier uh, straight walls. As you can see, this is really, really easy to line up. That wall is perfect. Now, what we're going to do is duplicate this and build our second corner. Once we've got it roughly in place, we can hold an R2 to rotate. Now, the thing about rotation is there's no fixed degree angles. You have to do everything by eye. So you just want to take your time and do it very, very slowly. And as you can see there, we've got a crisp lineup. Now, of course, we don't want to go through the process of building an entire new wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to group objects by pressing R2. That allows us to copy multiple objects at once. So you hit X to move and then duplicate. And then what you'll get is a duplication of the entire wall, allowing us to then build another wall. Now what you see here is if you try and then rotate that wall, it'll only rotate the piece you've picked. So what you need to do is select them all again, then rotate from the start. As soon as you start moving that, you will not be able to rotate the piece. So you want to pull it out, get it into place, then rotate it, and then you can move it into place. There you go, from taking maybe 60 seconds to build a first wall, second wall's taking us minimal amount of time. Now we know that's lined up, we can then copy that wall and drag it across and we built the third wall. And we don't have to worry about the angle being wrong because if the first wall perfectly lined up, that second wall is going to be perfectly lined up as well. Now of course we could individually copy these towers but it's just simpler just to group all of them press X to move and then press right to duplicate and you see if you try and rotate it it's not going to work so you have to pull it out and move the entire group Now we can sit and drag that out to roughly where we need it. And again, as soon as that's set down, you can't rotate it, so you just have to regroup everything. 
hold R2, especially if you're on PS4, and then we can rotate that. It's going to take you maybe two or three attempts just to get perfectly lined up. And there it's built. As you can see, in less than five minutes, we've built the basic external structure for our prison courtyard team deathmatch. Now, in this series, I'm going to take you through each of the steps you need and teach you every trick I know for both making maps and making them more realistic. If you found this at all helpful, please feel free to give us a like or subscribe to the channel.